Peace to everyone that is watching me at this time. I have a very powerful word that is going to bless you, that is going to encourage you. Remember, you are not watching this message by mistake. You have not clicked on this message by coincidence. There is a reason as to why you are watching me right about now. There is a miracle that awaits someone. There is a miracle, a breakthrough with your name attached to it. So I want to encourage you to keep on praying, to keep on pressing. As I've always told you, prayer is very important. When Jesus found his disciples sleeping, he had to wake them up. And he told them, couldn't you watch and pray with me for at least an hour? It then means that an hour is like a minimum time for someone to pray. But you find some people go into prayer for one minute, two minutes, and that is it. Your enemy is not sleeping. Bible says that he moves around like a roaring lion, seeking for whom to devour. If he finds you doing nothing, he will devour you. It is very important that you give yourself entirely to prayer. The apostles gave themselves to prayer. You see, Jesus even prayed. You see, if Jesus can pray, if the apostles can pray, who are you not to pray? So prayer is important. We are supposed to pray without ceasing. Whether you are feeling good or you are feeling bad, it is important for you to pray. It is for your own good. I have a word for you today. And the word is wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. It is important that you wait on to the Lord. Because he's going to give you direction. He's going to give you a prophetic instruction. It's so important. Waiting on the Lord. Some of you have been moving up and down. Up and down in life. You are so quick to make judgments. It's important that you wait on the Lord. Today's word is from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 28 to 31. It reads, Have you not heard? Have you not known? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. The Bible tells you clear. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Have you not known that the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, never faints nor is weary? He's never weary. His understanding is so unsearchable. What God knows about you is so unsearchable. Some of you may not know that God knows a lot about you. He knows a lot of things about you. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Some of you have been feeling so weak. So, so weak. Ever since this year began, you have been feeling so weak. But God gives you power. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. This is why the Bible says it clear. That those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. What a very powerful word. Wait on the Lord. Because some of you are coming from a battle. Some of you have been going through a battle that has made and made you lose a lot of strength. This is why God wants you to wait on him. So that your strength may be renewed. I'll give an example. If someone has a mobile phone, if a smartphone. 
if you use it the whole day, they will reach a point where you need to charge it. To charge and put power into it. Because its battery would have drained. Some of you have apps, mobile apps, that drain the battery. So it's important that you wait on the Lord. To renew your strength. The Bible says they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. The reason as to why you are supposed to wait on the Lord, he will give you strength. And when he gives you strength, when you run, you shall not be weary. When you walk, you shall not faint. You shall not faint. This is the reason as to why you should wait in all situations. Wait on the Lord. Don't be quick to make a decision. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. Until next time, shalom.